All right, let's start at the beginning. The Empress. Well, she is a great nurturer. She is also one that stands for pregnancy. She is the one that plants the seeds and watches it grow. So this could be the inception of a great idea that you need to nurture to fruition. Or it can, for many of you that would like to create a baby, uh, that is possible too, if your body is willing. Um, or there may be um, someone in your family that is pregnant. It doesn't necessarily have to be pregnancy. It can also stand for that, that um, nurturing uh, a project, nurturing your art, nurturing yourself. But she is all about the mothering. She's all about um, helping, watering, watching something grow is what she's about. So that is the Empress. What crosses you is it looks like with either this new project, um, new merging of some kind, that you're losing a little sleep here. This is the nine. And the nine is when there's so much to do and it's just living inside of your head. And either you can't sleep or a lot of people sleep to avoid. Um, but it does look like your sleep patterns have been disturbed a bit. Um, I'm also picking up that you may be getting some pressure around your head as well. It may be manifesting as a head headache or even stomach ache sometimes, stomach ache. But it does look like your sleep patterns are a bit disturbed and it could be if it's not a problem solving issue, it could be maybe you're just having um, some nightmares or something that is preventing you from that rejuvenative sleep. So see if you can process this stuff before you lay your head down or or find a uh, place of, of to stop for that night and that may help you um, embrace slumber a little bit more but it does look like uh, everything if you're looking at everything as one big thing that it will be problematic just choose one thing at a time till you complete it and then you will be able to sleep a little bit better it looks like Virgo the emperor is above here and he's a man of great wisdom he always takes the high road he's good about advice um, he also stands in integrity when all around you fall kind of thing. So there may be a situation where you have to speak from the heart, speak from the truth, uh, from a place of truth, but be in integrity about it. Um, there does look like a situation that is frustrating you. This could be a work situation. It could be a love situation, interpersonal relationship, something like that. But it is feeling that is a bit frustrating and that you will have to take the high road in this while others take the low road. Just remain with your integrity. You know, integrity is forever um, type of thing, you know. Be your high exalted self. Don't get down into the low fear based stuff when you are speaking. Um, but it does look like you will help to resolve some problem. And this may be at work. It can be um, within your interpersonal relationships, family, friends, things like that. But it does feel like that you will have to take the high road in a situation um, when either there's name calling or uh, manipulation of some kind. But there's some lower level things that are kind of surrounding you. So you'll have to step out of that and be in your exalted emperor self. The Knight of Pentacles is here and Knights are about motion. Uh, Pentacles are about material things, could be money. Uh, this is forward thinking. So you may have invested in something for your future um, or just looking at how to invest. It also can mean uh, you may be buying some property. You may be looking at new things on a material level to make your life a little bit better or even saving money for, for the future. So this... Um, uh, the knights also uh, dictate motion, so uh, and it is facing forward. So it does look like some participation, not just on a mental um, mental level, but on a could be financial level. You may have put a down payment or something, or uh, do some physical work to make this happen. So I don't feel like this is a person. I do feel like this is a um, a. A knight of uh, Pentacles, I feel like this is dictating motion, savings, um, either down payment, but something towards your future, kind of organizing your finances towards your future. 
The Three of Cups is here, and this is celebration, revelation. This is under the Empress, so someone may be having a baby, may be getting married, or you may be just getting together with some old friends to kind of lighten the load a little bit, enjoy yourself. But this is the card that's, you know, with mind, body, spirit balance, we need to have joy. We need to have joy to have that balance. So it does look like um, the pumpkin is here, so it may be that you're, you might be going to a Halloween party who knows but uh it or went to a halloween party if you're seeing this after um october 31st but it does feel like it's time to heal yourself and get out there and have some joy not only the half twos you've been quite diligent you've kind of nose to the grindstone type of stuff i know that you've been making decisions for the last couple of months so just give yourself a little break go have a uh, you know, a glass of wine with your friends or just enjoy the moment a little bit. Um, just some pleasures. Just get in touch with the pleasures instead of the half juice. And uh, what's in the future here, it does look like you are planning for something for the future. This is the two. This is finding balance as well. This is uh, leaving the things behind that no longer work for you. Really focusing um, your attention. It looks like on one particular uh, thing. This could be a project. This could be moving a new job, uh, opening up your own business, something like that. But it does require you to wait a little bit, uh, but to expand your awareness on other possibilities. Don't get just kind of uh, narrow your vision to it can only happen this way. This is kind of telling me spirit is telling me to broaden your horizons, broaden your choices. There are other ways to do this if um, this if the particular road you're going on is a bit challenging, broaden your vision a little bit. See if there are other things that uh, or other um, avenues to achieve this as well. But it does look like you're planning for something for the future. It does look like it requires some movement. So this may be something either you're moving, starting a new business, moving to a different state, country, city, something like that. But it does feel like um, you're collecting information in it and to wait just a little bit longer and that all will be revealed to you. But it does have to do with the positive growth and healing of your future work. So it does look like the focus here is kind of preparing for the future. Time to prepare for the future. Here is the five. Now the fives can be very tumultuous. This is a sword. And uh, swords can be very cutting words. So you may be in some kind of a verbal disagreement with someone. And you may have to just walk away and not engage in it. It doesn't look like it serves you. And that you may be going around and around in opinion mode. And not really growing from, from this discussion. So you may need to take a step back from that for a moment. And let the original people fight it out if it wasn't yours and just kind of sit back and take it in but it looks like it would be much more beneficial for you not to jump in and fix this uh, the ten is here ten of pentacles and that's also the material thing so it does look like whatever you've been doing to either make your uh, material wealth a little bit more fluid um, pay off those bills, paint the house, things like this. This is mostly a happy home, but it does look like you've gotten things together. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and all that hard work is starting to pay off. So you may be um, relieving yourself of a lot of stuff that doesn't serve you on a material level, um, but it does look like things are calming down for you with the home front so you can enjoy the holidays a little bit. And it does feel like family members are able to speak their truth and start healing themselves without you kind of jumping in and fixing it for them. So it does look like the hard stand that you took a couple of months ago has paid off that people are now being responsible for their own stuff instead of handing it to you, which is fabulous. Okay, the Ace of Cups is here. This is love card. This is a love card. These can be um, your soulmate card. So it does look like either you are looking for your soulmate, you're with your soulmate, or you are improving your relationship with your soulmate. So um, this is the hand of God. This is when it's kind of like the reward for all your hard work. And it also can stand for really loving yourself loving yourself this ace of cups you know spirit wants us to 
um, love ourselves as we move forward on this journey. But it does look like you have come to some understanding. It is next to the Empress card. So is there a marriage in the future? Is there a bonding in the future? Or have you just upgraded your current relationship can also mean that you will find your soulmate if you have been looking for them it's it's a ripe time right now with um all the motion in venus and scorpio so you've got sex and love happening in the sky so it's a perfect time for you to create or manifest that on the physical level uh, the next one here is the Six, the Six of Pentacles. This is also material thing, so it does look like you've been trying to get things in order, probably paying off bills, um, trying to really clean up your credit, things like that. Uh, but this also can stand for gifting of money. But the balance scale is lighting up for me, so um, be be positive and certain that whoever you're gifting um, and maybe even over gifting is worthy of it. Are they just using you for financial gain uh, when they can completely create this themselves? Are they draining your finances? So it, it feels like um, that you should be aware of who you're gifting and why you're gifting. Are they worthy or is it just a habit? Is it an old promise that is out of line that really doesn't serve you anymore? If this person that you're gifting is perfectly capable of creating that for themselves, it's time to pull back that hand of offering but it does look like it, it it feels like it's a legacy thing that it was kind of set up in the past and it's really not in line with what you need to do in the future besides it feels like these people are perfectly capable and they are using you for financial gain which does nothing for you does nothing for you so that is in the culmination uh, card spot right now so that may be happening right now or you may have to have a conversation in November it's like no I'm not going to pay your rent this month you know give them a little heads up if you're going to pull back the financial blanket give them a little heads up so they have time to recover but it does feel like this agreement to help them is going a little farther that they are um, being manipulative about money so the sun is to the left and the lovers to the right. So it does feel like this old out of date thing is holding you back from your new desires as well as your current love space. It is taking money away from your relationship and your projects is what I'm getting here. The sun is new beginnings. That's taking um, a, a great idea from the heavens, incorporating it into the physical. It also means stripping it down to make it super simple, uh, make life a little simpler for you, and kind of um, feeding your soul a little bit. The sun is, is you know, this kind of shining from our souls. So um, you may be in a really positive space after you have this discussion, but it's time to really uh, focus on your greatest desires, your um, highest hopes and dreams, and, and your creations that have been put on hold while you help other people. It's time for you to be the main focus here. Um, and just to the right of it is the soulmate card. But it does feel like the medical insignia is lighting up here. So something needs to shift. It feels like this needs a little bit more attention than the old agreement here. And this could be kids you've been paying rent for, or their car insurance or whatever. They're perfectly, if they're capable of doing it, it's time to do that. It's standing in the way of your happiness. And it's also kind of making you a little sick. It feels like it's more of a a pissed off sick than a physical sick. It's just like I'm sick to my stomach. I can't believe this is happening kind of thing. But all it takes is a compassionate uh, conversation to switch things because it does feel like you have the power in your court here, Virgo, but it does feel like you've been, been taken advantage of. And because of that, it looks like your current relationship or your love space has suffered a little bit. So see if you can get that back in line, Virgo. I'm going to throw some of these um, Angels in Abundance cards. Successful funding. Well, look at that. Is that a big old validation? Thank you, Spirit. That's a big old validation. It's time to really look at your funds and put them towards you instead of other people if they have 
messed up their finances, that's on them. Okay, and do the hard work there. The first one, successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowd funding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So ask and you shall receive on this funding stuff too and put it in line with your creations instead of other people's cleaning up other people's messes is what I'm feeling for this one. Uh, do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So this looks like this project, this happenings really demands some of your one-on-one -on -one undivided attention. So con uh, continue focusing on you and your desires and releasing any uh, past agreements that kind of deviate your attention, your funds, and your time.